Who are the people in Opus Dei? There are people like you, like me, the young, the old, the rich, the poor. People that all share that hope of living holy lives. I'm a mother and a homemaker. A father of two, a surgeon. I'm a real estate agent. Financial manager. I'm a soccer coach. I'm the mother of eight, a fashion designer. I am a mother and a technology consultant. Saint Jose Maria Escrivá, the founder of Opus Dei, encouraged people of every background and occupation to seek holiness in daily life. What brings us all together is the spirit of Opus Dei. Anybody who wants to live a holy life can be a member of Opus Dei. Most of its members are married. For them, striving to make holy their family and profession forms a central part of their Christian life. I happen to live my vocation in the middle of the world, in my profession, in my home, with my eight children and my husband. Opus Dei has taught me you have a path to sanctity, and that path is my love of my wife, and my, my job, and my duty as a father and a husband. There are also lay women and men who live celibacy as a gift from God. I can think of no better reason for celibacy than the personal call of God. Who do professional work, have friendships, and live in society like anyone else, but they dedicate themselves in a special way to giving Christian formation to others. My life looks like everybody else's life, but I consider it a great privilege to be able to help people to find Christ. I'm available to give talks and classes and also to meet with people one-on-one -on -one for direction or advice. Some of its members become priests and serve the faithful of Opus Dei and others with their priestly ministry. People ask to join Opus Dei when they feel they are being called by God. Opus Dei is a calling to people that, while living their busy lives, they want to live holy, busy lives. God called me to Opus Dei. I believe it's nothing particularly special of me, it's actually his choice. I decided I wanted to make Opus Dei a part of my life. It fit, it made sense. Members incorporate into their spiritual lives a daily plan of Christian practices. Every day I wake up and I say, I am going to serve. I often pray the rosary as I'm driving to work. You go to Mass every day, and then as you start incorporating this into your life, you have to sort of find, depending on what you do for a living, where they will fit. When I'm at work, during a break, I can do my spiritual reading. Afternoon, I could mm, say a prayer. A quick glance to an image of Our Lady and baby Jesus. When I come home, we say the rosary as a family. Before I go to bed, I usually do some spiritual reading. And I examine my conscience and sort of say, how did the day go? That's how I live my vocation. These practices of Christian life help to maintain the presence of God throughout the day and keep members on track in the spiritual life. My life changed dramatically when I became a member of Opus Dei. I'm able to do those very simple things that I have in my life and then and get to heaven. I'm not perfect, and becoming good and what God wants is a journey of a lifetime. I am a wife and a mother of four. I remember the moment when I realized I can be a saint working with toddlers. And that brought me such happiness. What I was doing already every day had a much richer and deeper significance. That was my path to sanctity, to holiness, to God. Mm -hmm.